Welcome everyone, Dotson here. Thanks for coming for the video for you guys. So as you can see, I am over here at uh, this thing that you guys saw me end up on the last episode. If you watched it, which if you didn't watch it, please go watch it. It helped a lot. And you know, like I didn't come to back really. um, So I have to take out this thingy. And there's probably some stuff lurking somewhere in like And the way that this looks. In all honesty, yeah, I figured.
lot of HP. Staring the machine? Down. Now back to finding the way up. Which means... I've got to climb. Something else behind. I should be able to get up there. That's not good though, like I need those um, things. I need wires to move my ammo. So if I fight again, I'm probably SOL. Like there is a um, and how cold must her hands be? She did almost barehanded. Oh, no. This must be the shrine Mel Tuke was talking about. Oh, this should take the blue green. Took said a rail went past the shrine up into the mountain. I better take those stairs. Oh, it's a satellite dish, dude. That's awesome. Oops, I didn't pull that out. Um, check that out. There's another satellite dish right there. It's amazing what could. Potentially, like, uh, guard against, well, I mean, it's not really guard against mother, it's, you know, lost it, it's not hell, but it's amazing what could actually potentially survive hundreds and thousands of years, well, hundreds of years, not like an ancient door. Maybe a ray is inside. I don't know how old this, um, because, I mean, there are tribes, but it's gotta be the future, because, I mean, this thing exists. The focus. Open door. Andrea's retreat. Hmm. Interesting. Andrea, you in here? That's a strange equipment. What was this place? Um, I don't know, those are pipes that probably carry water or some sort of stuff. But 
to the door. Get in there. 
Make it big, but you can drop down. And the door was over here. Okay, so if I can't find something, maybe my focus can. So those are four but it's just these little weird things. Pallet jacks or something, I should go with. Through that structure over there. Maybe. <laughs> We're just trying to see if there's like loot boxes or anything around. It's like I need to get to those stairs. Yeah, there's a uh The devs thought I had of an idiot like me jumping down there by accident and not getting all over. <laughs> Somebody has been here. But the question is I so I need to go that way, so it's over here. <laughs> Obscene 
messages about our colleague, Mr. Blevins. Is this the most advanced geological project ever undertaken, or a junior high locker room? Come on, people. I mean, smart people are often immature, and somebody pisses them off. Even, you know, everyone else is the same. We are human. I mean, you know, whatever. again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? Ah. I can't help you if you won't speak! Stitched into your skin. Whisper is all I ask. To guide me. Hey, lady. Who? No. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I. I used one of these. Show you. Yes, show me. Please. Okay. <laughs> you have any lift for me to take first? <laughs> oh god, I'm sure. Is there something to listen to? No. Is there something to listen to? Maybe. Yep. Kenny and I don't need to fight about the laundry, so instead we fight about incommensurability and restrictions on machine intelligence. Okay, this is it. That's all you got for me? Machine intelligence? Fighting like a child? Got it. Um... So that's where one of those figurines was. That's cool. Alright, can I do anything with this? And her mark is gone, too. And her mark is gone. Um, really it here? There's gotta be more, right? Okay, so I came down from there. Yeah, there really isn't anything else here. Okay. Well, I'll bet the goal is the same. Get the light back to the source. Okay, that's different. Which way is the light going toward this one? Okay, actually, I think Ooh, that's a lot more. Uh, right, let me do. Okay. 
<laughs> Auxiliary channel recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Ik Orea? Orea, I need you. Uh, there are actions to return to schedule task. No, I will not submit. The Orea the Damon is a You heard it. A voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's Drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? I'm Aloy. And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... Revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. You seem to have a history with this voice. This... spirit. She saved my life. Here, years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Warak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drift, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so... I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard a voice. A wanderer. Lost, like me. A spirit of blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me. But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. Um, what did yeah. the spirit want from you? She, she said she was... hurt. Incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not unlike what you'd find in machine. They were here. In this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost, and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe. And she listened. With patience. With wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me. Never judged. We kept each other's company. Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of the blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its purest form. Harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul, cut off from what it needs. Lonely, forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. That's all I need. The Daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here, then inside Thunder's Drum. Yeah, I got that. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something... evil. She named it the Daemon, and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again. Until today. 
What kept you from the spirit, after it begged for help? I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him, I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunderstrom until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunderstrom. That was the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. Yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a warrack of great hunters to defeat the daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass, and many machines. Oh. We were crushed. Aratak called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. You and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines, and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain. Thunder's drum. So, why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's drum is dangerous, more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, Aratak won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain. And he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Well, you said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible. Even for an outlander. An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <sighs> Wait, uh... Me? Challenge Aratok? I... Don't, don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She's suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Werex attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits that prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend Sakuli. You help her, you'll definitely get noticed. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratok's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. You have a spear. Banuke Storm Slinger. This weapon fires charged bullets. Consecutive bullets build up a larger charge and deal increased damage. Okay, that's cool. Um, 68 damage and 15 shock. That's actually good. Let's see.
Okay, I have damage blocks, I just can't put damage blocks in the game, apparently. I can't put the shotgun. I don't know exactly how that's handy, but I'll take it, I guess. Or the wear. The new storm is still in there. Hmm. I did something that will help get the attention of the Warrick. I got the tall neck near the Frost figures moving again. That's good to hear. I'm sure the Warrick will be talking. Now you need to do something else to convince them of your claim. How's Aratok going to react to being challenged by an Outlander? About as well as you'd expect. But let me handle that. Winning at the hunting grounds will impress the Warrick. All Banuk strive to be the best. For our harsh lands will bury pretenders in the ice. And so the hunting grounds and the snow chance is a great boon. A place to hone our spears and sharpen our aim. Tell Lovuk, the keeper there, that I sent you. If you best the mark of one of the champions she trained, it will impress the Warrick indeed. Uh -huh. You said I should try to help the Werak by taking out bandits. Yes. They don't dare taunt the great Weraks of Banor to the north. But the cut is easier prey. A rogue Osaram has equipped a gang in the Plumelands with strange new gear. Just the kind of thing you seem to make sense of. You mentioned your friend, Sakuli. Who is she? A rock painter. One who makes my own scrawling seem meager. Find her, in Song's Edge, and help her gather the materials she needs. Her work will no doubt stand the test of time, and any aid you give her will be remembered. I need to get going. There is much to be done. Okay, interesting. A rock painter. That's nice, that's an easy out. Hmm. Everything's freezing. The ground, the air, me. I wish you could actually keep your forward momentum if you did that, that was a downhill. It'd be so cool. That's a horse. Strider. That's a charger. Wait, are you not the model? Some of 
your boy. <laughs> in this episode here guys so uh if you enjoyed the episode please do me a favor smash that thumbs up button also consider subscribing and ring the notification bell if you didn't like it go ahead and leave a dislike but instead of just disliking it do me a favor comment down below or make a suggestion an idea anything like that uh anything to help me improve i do greatly appreciate you guys watching i hope you enjoyed it also stay safe out there guys and we'll see you in the next one peace